You know, it only took a year, but I think I have officially come to terms with the space that I live in and the size of my room. For those of you who haven't been following my entire New York journey, <laughs> I ended up living in a teeny tiny little box of an apartment and sleeping on a twin size bed. And to some that might sound unbelievable and not something you want to do as a 24 year old, but I found ways to make it work by finding things that makes this space perfect for me. From the jump, the one thing that I wanted to prioritize more than anything was my bed because I spend a lot of time in my bed, as we all do. I think we spend one third of our lives in our beds. That's statistically speaking. And especially since I recently renewed my lease, I wanted to find ways to kind of level it up a little bit more. And I'm doing so by working with Brooklinen. So thank you, Brooklinen, for sponsoring this video. You guys can use my code DanielleJordan20 to get $20 off any orders on Brooklinen of a hundred dollars or more I do not have enough words to describe how much these sheets have leveled up my sleeping experience I just there's a few things <laughs> New York is going through a heat wave right now like I'm talking upper 90s for weeks on end it has not been fun whether you're out of your apartment or inside your apartment and the one thing that I wanted to really prioritize for myself was getting sheets that didn't feel like they were wearing me down sheets that felt breathable and light and Brooklinen is perfect for that I mean it literally feels like you're sleeping on a hotel bed which is funny because when I stayed at a hotel in Costa Rica back in January they actually had Brooklinen sheets on all of the beds Brooklinen has sheets for literally every type of sleeper. The ones that I have are perfect for people who sleep on the hotter side. The Lux are good for people who sleep on the cooler side. And then the linen are perfect for pretty much all year round. And listen, don't get me wrong. I know that high quality sheets can be so expensive. Some of them even go up to like $500, but Brooklinen is able to price theirs at around $200 to $250, depending on the size of your bed, simply by cutting out the middleman. The incredible sheets that I've been sleeping on recently are part of the classic sleep bundle. It literally comes with every Everything you need pillowcases a fitted sheet a top sheet everything you're all set and you can mix and match between 20 different colors and patterns so you can really make it fit your exact vibe that you're going for in your room I went for the classic white but I did see a pinstripe option that I was kind of considering but I think I'll do that for my next apartment I am NOT kidding when I say that sleeping on Brooklyn sheets has changed the game for me they will officially be the only things I'm turning to and if you guys want to jump on the bandwagon click the link down below and use my code Danielle Jordan 20 for $20 off orders of $100 or more and let me know what you end up picking up the last thing I want to do is get out of bed right now Alright, let's get up. with my life these days so I can't expect you guys to keep up either between my last two videos I have been back and forth from the Hamptons to the city so much and really that is just like the best life that I could ask to live so I'm really really grateful but I haven't been able to like settle down somewhere in a while and this week is not gonna be that week but I knew I had to pick up my camera because I'm gonna have a really really fun few days and it only feels right to bring you along today is Tuesday I just need to like really zone in on all of my projects that I have going on right now I think I just need like two days of like complete focus time and then I'll be good it is going to be a busy, busy week. I have lots to get done and lots that I'm gonna be doing. I guess a quick rundown today. I don't have any set plans after work. Probably just gonna stay at the office for a while, come back and edit my YouTube video that's going up tomorrow, which is up by this point, so make sure to go watch it if you haven't. And then tomorrow I have tentative plans for after work that will probably be confirmed in a little bit. I may or may not be going on a date. We'll see. And then Thursday, I have a really, really fun event. So I'm headed back out to the Hamptons and you guys will see everything about that once we get there. It's gonna be really special. But we need to get through the workday first. So I have my computer, computer charger, something I'm returning for a friend. I have AirPods, wallet, and we're good. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I had a terrible day. Like, absolutely 
god awful to the point where the only thing I can think of doing at the moment, my ponytail looks so stupid. The only thing I can think about doing right now is going to a workout class and just forcing myself to be in a good mood because right now I am, I mean, I brain dead would probably be the word. It was just, it was not a good day. And you know what, that's okay. Because if I said that every single day of working two jobs was easy, I would be a liar, but it is just, some days are better than others. Oh well, let's change and go to a fun class and just be in a good mood. And thankfully this class is taught by my all time favorite teacher, Melissa. So it's gonna be good. We're gonna be happy. Give me like an hour and a half and I'll be fine. It's just right now, we're not doing well. was 100% right. After taking that workout class, I'm feeling a lot better. It doesn't mean that everything that happened today didn't happen and I just like forgot about it because that's just not true, but it definitely helped me put things into perspective and just those classes have a way of making me feel really, really good. It feels re very reminiscent of when I used to take dance classes when I was younger and anybody who grew up dancing knows that some of the best forms of validation come from dance teachers and there's something very comforting when your instructor remembers you and hypes you up like it just it it hits different and finally <laughs> i just in moments like this where things get really stressful i realize the importance of having a really strong support system and i am so beyond lucky to have people who just like hype me the fuck up when they know I'm feeling upset. All in all, I have three words of wisdom for you. When you're feeling sad, feel your feelings, but also push yourself to do something that you know will make you feel better. Two, find yourself a community that hypes you up and makes you feel amazing. And three, never neglect your support system because those are the people that keep you going when things get hard. So that's what I'm gonna leave you with for tonight. I'm gonna continue watching Hannah Montana and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I set my alarm this morning for 6.30 so I could get up and finish editing my video because I sure as hell did not have the energy to do it yesterday. So I did that and now it's scheduled to go up at 11.11. Then I got up, started getting ready, and now I'm gonna make it into the office on time. I swear, I feel like I've already lived a whole life this morning and it's only nine o'clock. Do you guys mind if I have a good day today? <laughs> I feel like we should have a good Wednesday together and I'm gonna set my intentions right now. I am going to head into the office. I'm gonna be super, super productive. I'm gonna get all of my work, both for today and tomorrow, done so I don't have to worry about it. I am gonna get a really great lunch. My video is gonna do super well. I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna have some fun with my roommates. I'm gonna go on my date and it's gonna be a great day. Okay. I've queued up two of my favorite podcasts this morning, so I have something to make me laugh as I'm commuting. My AirPods are fully charged. You know what? We're off to a good start. I'm feeling good. Can you cut me down? A little slower. People who have been watching me for a while might know where I am strictly based on the background. Right now I'm in my best friend Bridget's house in the Hamptons and we're here for something very, very special. Like literally it's a shrine to Josh Hutcherson. This is incredible and it's been here since she was like 12 years old. A few weeks back, I got the invitation to an incredible event with Nomadica Wines. And essentially it's a four course dinner being hosted at Surf Lodge in Montauk. And I was so excited, obviously, because it's in the Hamptons. It's an amazing event where I get to dress really, really nice, which is all of my favorite things combined into one. But more than anything, it was really special because the day before I was with Bridget and we were talking about how I'd never been to Surf Lodge and whenever I went, we had to go together. And then literally the next day, I got that invitation. 
So obviously I texted her right away and I was like, tell me this isn't a sign and we're going tonight. Today's a Thursday, so obviously we had work. So we had to scramble to get ready after the work day wrapped up. But now we are good to go. I'm so excited. Just have to do the finishing touches to finish getting ready. The first of which is put on my jewelry. B, what? how far away are we? 15. Okay. You look beautiful. Thank you, boo. I, think I, I love the little... dress. Do you think I should wear this one? Yeah, I do. I do. Because you keep on coming back to it, that means yeah. you feel the best in it. I've had this outfit planned for weeks. If you guys have been paying attention to my videos, I've been A, teasing this dress, and B, just raving about how excited I was to wear this outfit. So this dress is from Revolve. It's from the Camila Calejo collection, along with the amazing outfit I wore during my birthday weekend. So needless to say, this is my favorite brand that Revolve sells. I'm literally obsessed with it. But this dress is incredible. Like, I, I cannot say enough good things about it. It fits like a glove. I love how it has these little, like, hang off the shoulder sleeves. So it's a little low in the front. The back is just normal, and I'm wearing it with these nude heels. The brand and the PR company that are setting up this event are so nice to the point where they're sending us an Uber voucher. That way we don't have to pay for crazy Uber prices in the Hamptons because Lord knows if we wanted to call our own Uber to this event, we would be spending probably a lot of money. So. They sent us an $100 Uber voucher. Love to see it. Let's see how far away an Uber is. One minute away? Okay, well I can't call that now. I wish they had Uber, um, what's it called? Uber Black. I wish they had Uber Black. Where you get like picked up in a Tesla. That's cool. But we're in the Hamptons. There's only so many Ubers oh. around. off my morning with a walk. I find that when I spend an extended period of time not in the city, the one thing that I miss the most is going for my daily walks because it's just the perfect way to start the day, getting my steps in, and I don't do it as often when I'm on Long Island. So Bridget's still in bed. I figured I would get up a little earlier and walk down to the beach because she's super close. I also realized I never spoke to you guys about the event and it was amazing. It really was just such a low-key event in the sense where nobody was bothering us like it wasn't this big production it was just the perfect opportunity to go sit on the water eat amazing food drink amazing wine and have a great night and then afterwards we went out it was it was the perfect night honestly To a bar called Montucket. But before that, we caught news that Harry Styles <laughs> may or may not be in Amagansett. Amagansett, out of like the Hamptons, is like yeah, the right? smallest, tiniest Hamptons. Wait, we can't say that loud because people don't know. That's true. Oh, yeah, we're trying to be subtle. I, I can't say anything inappropriate, but I freaked <laughs> out. I freaked out when I found out this news.
And I literally could not be happier. The past few days have been very special. And I'm happy I was able to document them for you guys. Don't forget that this video was sponsored by Brooklyn Inn. So if you guys want to sleep as comfortably as I did last night, then you guys can use my code DanielleJordan20. Click the link down below and do some shopping. Let me know what you end up picking up. I love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you very, very soon in my next video.